So this is the first screen that you see when you log into Notion. Um, you can create a free account really easily. And then once you're logged in, you can go to the link to my publications database. So this is the public version. The first thing you're going to want to do is to duplicate it into your own version of Notion so that it's yours and that you can edit it and make changes. Now it's inside of yours. You can change the title if you'd like to, remove public information from it. And I will walk you through the existing sample book, which is my first book, Song of Blood and Stone. So this is where in this initial view, you'll see the list of all of your books. You have the title, you have the type, whether it's a novel, a novella, or a short story. And everything here is customizable. So if you have some other type of book or story that you wanna add here, you can do that. And for me, I use a code for each of my books in order to help organize my folders on my computer. So my code for this book is 110. If this isn't useful for you, you can very easily delete this column or replace it with something else that is actually useful for you. To get the details of this book, I would hover over it and click open and open as page. So here I have my book detail page. I put a cover at the top of it, which is just the background of the actual book cover. It brings in the title, the code, and the type from our previous screen. And you can see the breadcrumbs at the top that allow you to go back and forth between the whole database and now we're inside the book. Scrolling down, I have editions. So this particular book has multiple editions. We have the original self-published version, which was by my publishing company, Heartspell, and to pay her back an ebook. Then I sold the book to St. Martin's Press and it came out in hardcover and audio. And now there's the special edition, which is in paperback and ebook. So you can keep track of details like that with this database. Scrolling down, we get to our vendors. We have um, the various places that you can buy it, the distributor, and the distributor becomes more important when it's self-published. So right now, since this is a traditionally published book, my publisher is responsible for all of these links. But for my self-published books, I either go direct to Amazon or I'll use draft to digital or Publish Drive. Some people use Smashwords and there are other aggregators and distributors. So this is where you can keep track of that along with the links. And I wanted to, to track whether it was an affiliate link or not and then you have a notes field. Then we have the description of the book, basically the back cover copy. I like to keep track of the categories and sometimes the keywords uh, for my self-published books, quotes, author blurbs, trade reviews, um, other things. You can actually add more if there are specific things for each book. Inside of the editions is where I keep the ISBN info. So you'll see next to the word editions, there's the default view, which is the picture or gallery view. And there's also the view details, which gives you a table view of each one. And that's where you have more information like the publication date and um, the rights, whether it's out of print or not. I can go back to the default view and actually click inside of this. And now I'm inside here where I chose to store the ISBN information for the different versions. So. There's a bunch of different ways that you could do this, but this made the most sense to me. So you can add your ISBNs here. You can add any other information that is specific to this edition inside of this detail page. And then I can go back out to the book page and see the overview. So let's make a new book and walk you through that process. So I go back to the database and click new. I'm going to do a self-published book, which is the next in my series. This one is a novella and my code is 115. Then I'm going to go into the detail. I can add a cover here so I can actually go and it gives you a default cover. I can choose to upload the, the background of this book from my hard drive. Now I have a pretty cover for it. Um, this information is pulled in from the previous screen. And now we have a template. So I created a book template that you can click on and that gives you the rest of the template, the format for this book. So here we have the additions. It gives you three blank options. This particular book right now only has one edition. So I'm going to delete the others by 
hovering over and getting this three dots, which in Notion is your settings or other options, and then just deleting. So I will go into this blank one. And this is where you can give it a title that is useful for you. So I'm just going to call this 115 ebook. The format is ebook. Uh, I'm going to upload the cover. Put in the publication date, which was 2019, January, let's see, it was January 21st. The publisher is here and you can easily add additional publishers to this list. The rights, um, I'm gonna leave that blank because it's self-published and it's all rights, but I could just as easily put all here. Status is available. And then here I would put ebook for version and add my ISBN number. There will be an audiobook coming uh, later and I can either add that here. Um, I would probably create a new edition for that since it, it is a different publisher. But that's a choice that you can make in terms of how you want to um, have this work. But the audiobook will have a different cover and a different publisher. So for me, that's a different edition and I would create a whole new edition for that. Coming down to vendors, I will add the Amazon link. The distributor is direct, because I'm going direct to Amazon. So I'm creating a new distributor and adding it to that. I will get my link. So this is my amazon.com link. This is an affiliate link. Now here are notes. Um, what I'm gonna do is put my international affiliate link in here, just so I'll have that. So this one will take you to whatever your Amazon store is in your country if you're not in the United States. I can fill out the rest of the links as I need to and then come down to tagline, description, category, and keywords. So let's put in, I'll skip a couple of them, but I will put in the categories and keywords. I'm going to paste them from where I keep them currently in Evernote. I'm switching over from Evernote to this template because I think it's going to be more comprehensive and easier. And then any other information that you want to keep track of here. So now, basically, I'm done. If I go back to the publications database, I will see my new entry. I'll be able to go in and out of it as I need to. And if I need to grab a link, I can do that pretty easily from here. Um, or if I need to grab the book description, um, I could link to a press kit. I can embed files here. Notion is really powerful. And if you haven't used it before, it, um, it's worth checking out some of the other features. One of the other great features about this is that it has customizable templates. So I've used a couple of templates to create this and you can customize them to your needs. So from the publications data database, I used a book template, which I can edit here. So these three dots, click on that, click templates, and you'll see the book click on the three dots again, and you're editing the templates. So whenever I create a new book, this is the format. So this gives me all of that stuff. So if from now on, I don't want one of these things or I want something different, I can go in here and edit that template. If you add it inside the template, then you can use it for the next book that you create. It will not retroactively update the existing books, but if I made a change inside of this books template, any new book I make will reflect that change. So that's my quick overview of the publications database. I hope that you found it helpful and that you can use it to get your books organized.